countdown is on and in less than 24 hours from now, we'll get the results from the battle of the states. But ahead of the counting of votes in those five states, which are UP, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Goa and Manipur, we'll have the projections from the exit polls. Uh, so according to pollsters, the BJP is in poll position in four of the five states, while the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party are neck and neck in Punjab. In fact, uh, Shirin Ban joins us now uh, with more on the Network 18 Gramina poll of polls. Uh, Shirin, take us through the highlights. Well, we've had at least 24 hours now to die just what the exit polls are saying but just to recap for our viewers tomorrow could be a very very different day if you go by the past experience that we've seen with exit polls but be that as it may this is the story at this point in time and let's start with the crucial state of Uttar Pradesh uh, this is the network 18 Gramina poll of polls now what the network 18 Gramina poll of polls essentially does is it also gives weightage to the past record of the pollsters if you look at this poll now the BJP stands to gain 193 that's the projection of the poll of polls the Samaj Party in Congress 133 and Mayavati's Bahujan Samaj Party 67. So it is the BJP ahead, but still short of the halfway mark if you go by what the Gramina poll of polls is telling you about the state of Uttar Pradesh. Crucially, if you look at what happened with the Maya Axis India Today and Chanakya polls, that gives you a very different story with respect to the BJP's projections for the state of UP, which is anywhere between 251 to 285. But let's move on now to the next state and tell you what's happening in the state of uh, Uttarakhand and it is a close contest there this is the network 18 Gramina poll of polls the BJP in the lead with 38 the Congress expected to get about 26 and others about six so this is a state uh, where the margins have typically been very very slender between the winning party and the losing party and this time it looks like it is the BJP that's ahead in Uttarakhand moving on to the next crucial state and that is the state of Punjab and this could be one of the big head lines uh, for these five state elections that we are tracking. The state of Punjab is likely to show up a surprise in the form of the Aam Admi Party. It's a very, very close contest between the Congress and the Aam Admi Party. One goes by what pollsters are suggesting as per the exit polls. So it could be neck and neck for the Aam Admi Party as well as uh, the the Congress in the state of Punjab and a wipeout for the BJP Shiromani Akali Dal. Uh, it could be the end of the road as far as that alliance is concerned. That is the state of Punjab. 10 to the SAD plus BJP, Congress at 53 and ARP at 54. So that tells you just how close a contest it is expected to be in Punjab. But will this result hold or not? We will find out tomorrow. Next up, it's Goa, and again, it is a close contest in the state of Goa. The BJP coming in at 19, uh, Manohar Parikar, could he actually work the fortunes around for the state of Goa, for BJP? The Congress at 14, and the Aam Admi Party, again, this is the debut for the Aam Admi Party in the state of Goa. If this number looks right and does uh, get proven right when we see the election results coming in tomorrow morning, then this will be a significant victory for the Aam Admi Party that opens its account in the state of Goa. Anywhere between 0 to 6 is what the various polls have suggested as far as the Aam Admi Party is concerned. And finally, for the state of Manipur, the BJP could get anywhere between 25 to 31. The Congress could lose here 17 to 23 and others 9 to 15. So that's what the India TV C voter poll tells you about the state of Manipur. But as I pointed out, these are exit polls. The verdict is out tomorrow. We'll be here bright and early starting 6 in the morning to keep you updated on all the electoral results. Right, absolutely, Shireen. Thanks so much for joining us with all the details from there. Uh, so the BJP up ahead, uh, ahead in four out of five states. Let's see what the outcome finally 